center field set. Brad Adam with you. All right, Logan Gilbert on the mound. We'll talk about the big ride in just a second. Set to make his third start of the year. First pitch coming up from him. But before he does that, we have the other first pitch. Another team. More visitors from Western Washington University. Before we had women's basketball team. Now the women's volleyball team. Big year in Bellingham for women's sports. Let's get down to Jen talking with the coach and some players. Go Vikings, Jen. Go Vikings. I tell you what, it's not just this big year. This is a really solid program up at Western. Malia Aliaga is here along with coach Diane Flick-Williams. And Diane, we're going to start with you. You have led this program for 23 seasons. And for the last 20 years, the roster is entirely comprised of players from the state of Washington. What does that say about the legacy and just the reputation you've built there? Well, you always uh, start something for one reason and finish it for another. And we kind of started that with Washington kids out of a kind of just a necessity. Uh, but it's been kind of a great thing for us at this point. And I'm really proud of the fact that we get to tap into Washington local talent. We get families that get to come and watch, which are here at the game tonight. So we're just really proud of that. And we think as a state institution that that should be the people we serve. Malia, you were obviously one of those local talents. You played at Kennedy Catholic. What was it that drew you to Wester? Um, it was really the girls and the coaching staff. There's so many people who I was around at Kennedy who told me Western is the place for you. And after coming on my visit, I think just meeting all these girls and knowing Di and James and knowing they were going to push me to the best that I could was definitely the reason why I came up here. Well, they certainly have. I have to consult my notes on this one because Western has played in the National Final Four in three of the last six years, including last fall. What was the galvanizing moment for your team? I think just the whole experience. I don't think there's one specific moment that we could really, I could really pick out. I think just the entire experience to be with each other every single day until the Final Four, I think just every single moment that we got together was amazing. So the team is here tonight. You can hear some of the fans in the stands. A first pitch is going to be thrown out. Coach, I know that this is not your sport, but what's the strategy? Who's throwing this out? What have you coached them up to do? Well, Gabby Gunterman's going to be our first pitch um, thrower tonight. Uh, she was a GNAC Player of the Year, and she's all power. So we're hoping that she's going to bring in not only a strike, but blow the catcher off his feet. <laughs> That's our goal. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like that goal. Bring the power. We will see if she can get that done. After Western Washington throws out the first pitch, Logan Gilbert is going to take it from there. And when we come back on Mariners pregame presented by Vizzy Mimosa Harp Seltzer, we will take a look at that game plan for Logan against the Texas Rangers.